You wouldn't believe the absolute headache this was to set up. This game, when it was ported to PC by Dejica, they fucked up the controller settings. What worked for me was plugging in a completely different controller, going to the controller configurations in big picture mode, and creating my own personal local binding based on the original game's binding. And then it worked. So now, please, enjoy some gameplay from this piece of shit port.
I can barely get my fucking head around this. Like, how it's meant to play. I think there might be a timing issue, but I'm not sure if there really is. It plays like garbage. Absolutely plays like garbage. There's about 1600 different ways of pressing the buttons, and none of them are comfortable. So, like... You can press the directions on the D-pad or the analog stick for the left booster, for the right booster, again. But also pressing any of those directions counts as a press, and so does pushing the analog stick count as a press. So what point do these press buttons have? It's, it's a headache. It's a headache. It plays like shit. I remember playing this on my iPhone back in the day. My iPhone or iPod Touch. And it was tap, 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 swipe. Tap, 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 swipe. How did they fuck this up so bad? I'll play one more. Slowly climbing up in difficulty. I want to recommend it because after all, it's a rhythm game on Steam and we don't really get that many of them these days. But I would say hold off until this game receives the necessary patches that it needs. Because until then, it's clearly not worth playing. And you might say, oh, but it's got Bad Apple from Toho. Yeah, which is cool. And it plays okay, but no, I, fi I find it increasingly difficult to recommend this the more that I play it. Hopefully it gets some necessary hands-on testing and improvement time. I'm, I'm sure it'll get better over time, but... For now, no. Can't recommend this one. 